The exploration of space is the grandest adventure challenging humanity. The universe can surprise and awe us. There's so much more to discover and learn. We explore to understand our place in the universe, to answer questions about its formation, and what other worlds are like. We explore to understand the fragility of our Earth and how it is changing. We explore to push human capabilities to their highest potential. The President's budget proposal for 2011 uh, it actually gives us an incredible opportunity to do many of the things that NASA was established to do, particularly uh, exploration beyond low Earth orbit. With this budget, we actually are able to put some money into research and development that's going to give us the capability to get to places like Mars, back to the moon, to asteroids. What this program does is it allows us to develop technologies and utilize those new innovations and technologies in the program. So NASA's plans for the future are big. Like all Americans, we're dreaming large. And we want to explore uh, a large number of destinations, both robotically uh, at first and eventually with humans. NASA has a bold mandate to launch a new journey of innovation and discovery. As we seek to explore far beyond Earth, we must invest in critical knowledge and capabilities to enable this journey. A new generation of NASA's best and brightest is developing innovative new approaches to exploration. We plan nothing less than to create the future of spaceflight now. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. After the safe and planned retirement of the space shuttle fleet. Houston Discovery Roll Program. I think the legacy of the space shuttle is it showed us that we could really work in space. So. You know, we, the Space Shuttle has done an unbelievable variety of activities. Oh, baby, look at that. The first foothold beyond Earth will be the International Space Station, an orbital laboratory that is re-energized in the agency's new direction. Space Station is an amazing platform because you can do experiments there that can't be done anywhere else. At Houston, this is Station, Space to Ground 2 for fly around. There's little doubt that the space station has probably been the largest civilian uh, international cooperative science and technology venture in history. Uh, our partners in Canada, Europe, Japan, and Russia work more tightly as a team than they ever did prior to this program. U.S. Space Shuttle Discovery departing. In cooperation with our international partners, this engineering marvel will now host cutting-edge science research to 2020 or beyond. Continuing into the lab, say hi, Frank. Hello, Hello everybody. Commander. Providing solutions to problems on Earth and critical information for sending humans further into the solar system. I think in the next decade, you're going to see a broad use of the space station by non-NASA organizations. And those uses are going to revolve around national needs and things like public health, energy and environmental applications. I think if you if you look at the model kind of a low earth orbit we're going to try to make that more commercial let more commercial companies handle that business and then NASA will focus more beyond low earth orbit. We will prepare astronauts for longer trips in space while working cooperatively with other spacefaring nations. So NASA has uh, an unbelievable team of industry partners that we uh, have worked with for our entire history. Uh, the space community includes uh, industry, academia, as well as the government. And that outreach has been extremely successful, both for that community and for NASA itself. New businesses have emerged, uh, and NASA has developed partnerships that we continue to utilize as we move forward in, you know, in our science and exploration missions. Together, we will lay the foundation for a new era of space exploration. The agency will begin work on transformative heavy lift technologies that will lead to a new rocket 
to carry astronauts beyond Earth orbit. Lift off of Ares 1X. And development will continue on the Orion crew capsule to provide standby emergency escape capabilities for the space station. This is turning over uh, transportation to and from Earth orbit to the commercial sector while we focus on the, the broad range of technologies that we actually have to have in place before we can go long distances like places to Mars. Once the stuff of science fiction, new technologies being developed by NASA engineers and their commercial partners will revolutionize spaceflight. We are investing at a larger scale so that we actually can get there quicker. And so they um, will become available um, and we'll start testing them in space. We have demonstration flights that will be taking these and demonstrating these technologies as precursors before we put them into human vehicles. New approaches to propulsion will free us from Earth's gravity and send us further and faster into the cosmos. Spacecraft will refuel at depots in orbit. New techniques for rendezvous and docking will allow us to construct the spaceship of the future. Astronauts will visit and live in lightweight inflatable habitats and live off the land at their destinations. America has been, is all about innovation. It has been throughout its history. And many of those innovations occur outside the government. We're pursuing that vigorously. The agency will partner in innovative ways with the commercial space sector to develop safe and efficient systems to transport cargo and astronauts to and from the International Space Station. By nurturing this growing American industry of commercial space access, NASA will create new jobs while freeing itself to do what it has always done best, explore the mysteries of space. Robotic scouts like the Mars Science Lab and observatories like the new James Webb Space Telescope will comprehensively explore our solar system and galaxies beyond. If you like Hubble, you'll love James Webb because James Webb will be a hundred times more sensitive. As always, NASA spacecraft will demonstrate new capabilities as they pioneer these bold efforts to further unlock the secrets of the universe. Closer to home, the President's plan will strengthen NASA's efforts to study and protect our home planet. An expanded suite of Earth observatories will improve our knowledge of climate change, Earth's dynamic processes, and the forecasting of major storms and natural disasters. NASA programs and spacecraft will also stand vigil against potential threats to our planet. An agency-led effort is underway to chart the paths of asteroids and other near-Earth objects. And NASA satellites are gathering data that allow scientists to better predict space weather through its satellites, communications, and power grids. In aeronautics, new technology investments will develop the next generation aviation system for the entire nation that increases safety and is friendly to the environment by reducing noise, emissions, and fuel consumption. So in turn, um, the flying public will enjoy even safer uh, and more efficient uh, air travel, which is already the safest mode of uh, uh, public transportation. Work on the X-48 and other unmanned aerial vehicles will push the envelope of innovation and perform vital tasks that humans cannot. These accomplishments will continue to inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. NASA has exciting missions that really help students see how they're going to use the academic knowledge they're using in the real world. What are the jobs, the careers, the opportunities to explore and learn about science and aeronautics uh, that really excite students. Through groundbreaking education initiatives, NASA will work to sustain America's leadership in space and aviation and continue the critically important work of encouraging our youth into fulfilling careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. 
We're trying to equip middle school teachers with the confidence to go into the classroom and really fire kids up. I told you it worked. And I can tell you that, uh, in my opinion, for young people all around the country, the opportunities are there. This country needs a new generation of scientists, engineers, and mathematicians. That's good for science, but it's more important for the good of this country. NASA has a unique opportunity to help students do better in science and mathematics and be prepared for careers in engineering and know how to invent and use technology. We have a way to excite them and engage them in real-world activities. And it's important that we have our future workforce for NASA, our contractors and universities, but also the nation. The agency will sponsor new competitions that foster ideas and innovation for leading edge technologies and new industries. This budget is really a good indication of the president's support for science in general and earth science in specific. We can take the intellectual capital at the NASA field centers and we can turn it loose on some of society's grandest challenges. We're going to look back at this time, I hope, and recognize that uh, we opened up the solar system for humanity. I'm excited about the things we're going to be able to do uh, because we now have money to put into research and development of the technologies that we need to accomplish the goals we set for ourselves. Our goal is to go away from the planet. We want to go to asteroids. We want to go to Mars. We want to go back to the moon. We want to do other things. We want to be able to fly higher and faster. NASA's new path for space exploration puts our nation on a stronger trajectory for achieving our boldest ambitions. Both flexible and sustainable, the nation can start moving today towards these challenging and inspiring goals. America's space exploration program will advance new frontiers and provide inspiration for the world. We're gonna turn science fiction into science fact. Exploring the universe while better understanding our home planet in a new era of innovation and discovery.